Hi again then guys, and so we've got another PP specific circuit set up for you today, and this time we've got another requested tune uh, for another one of the expensive classics, which actually makes superb track cars, as is not really that surprising because most of them are racing models anyway. But for this particular build, we are tuning a 550pp level build for the Alpha Julia TZ2. Now I've gone for racing soft tyres, a little bit of an overkill on this model, but hey, if you can have an advantage, why say no to it? As far as the brakes, I've increased the front brake balance to 6. As far as the ride height, we've got that on 90 front and rear. You can actually go a little bit lower if you want to, but this car has pretty amazing handling anyway. As far as the springs, we've increased those up to 675 and 550. The dampers to 4 all round, anti-roll to 3, neutral camber and tow. We'll come back to the gearbox in just a second. For the diff, you want that uh, initial torque as low as possible, acceleration as high as possible to keep the handling nice and loose, and the braking halfway, because you don't want the car to be overly loose under braking, but at the same time, you want it to be able to coast into a corner and to brake into a corner quite nicely. You can actually go a little bit higher on the braking sensitivity if you want to, but if you don't, it's still fine. Now, I've got an oil change on this model, and technically speaking, you can also use this as a 575 PP tune just by not including the power limiter, because it is also competitive at that level. But I've fitted the high RPM turbo, then reduced it down to 81.4%, I've chosen not to use ballast to bring it down PP-wise, because having high power isn't necessarily as good an advantage as having low weight, so you don't really want to give up that low weight advantage unless you have to. Downforce we've got set to the maximum, that depends on the circuit of course, and finally for the gearbox we've got an auto setting of 149, then for the individual gears 2.8, 1850, 1350, 1050 and 850, with a final drive of 3.5 and that particular gear setup with this power is good for a top speed even with the downforce of around 170 to 180 so pretty good for its power so that's it for the mechanical setup overall now let's take it out to the Nuremberg ring to see what it can do overall the TZ2 I would say is one of the best classics to get if you're looking to spend really really big bucks on a collector's classic because with a few of them, they're almost more collector's pieces than they are actually competitive. Whereas with this one, it is extremely competitive. It's got a perfect little niche for itself. It would be nice to have more cars like this, but we don't really have many of those small, relatively low-powered classic race cars on the game. Most of the race cars that we have from that era tend to be the big, obviously powerful models like the GT40. So to have a car like this is a refreshing difference, I would say. It's a car which I really didn't care about when I first started playing the game. Then I bought the car, and I have to say, it's one of my favourite classics in the game. And I'm not a huge Alfa Romeo fan, it has fantastic, almost unbelievably good handling. The fact that it doesn't have a huge amount of power means that the car's chassis copes beautifully with the power that it does have. It's ultra light, the grip and the brakes are phenomenal. As I said, the top speed is excellent for the power as well. The PP is a little bit too high. I mean, you can't really change that because that's just the way the car is. But if you choose it on the right track, especially technical circuits where it's more about start-stop performance rather than pure speed, such as the Nuremberg Ring to some degree, but even more so tracks like Laguna Seca, potentially Spa, and also Ascari, tracks like that, this car really shines. So... If you have bought your TZ2 for 10 million credits, which is quite a hefty amount of money, then I hope, of course, you find this tune competitive if you do decide to use it at either the 550 or 575 PP level. And if you are new to the channel and would like to keep up with other tunes and builds like this as soon as they're released, be sure to hit subscribe down below. And as always, thanks for watching.